Um, I feel like um, Israel might come in, try and be our fancy, and Rob will have it under control. I feel like um, it might throw him off a little bit. Of course, it could happen to anybody. But um, you know, if it comes down to it, um, I feel like Rob is a stronger fighter, uh, more dominant. Um, and I can, I've seen that in his performances, like his finish rate compared to like, Israel. Israel's done great, but um, the last two like haven't been as dominant in the way. Like definitely more flashy and point winning, which is cool. Like either way, but if Rob's gonna come in like a bull or whatever, like he'd have to be worried. But yeah, I think I've got Rob for this one. I think Whitaker's gonna catch him, man. I just I can't bet against Whitaker. Is the guy's a gun. He's fought Yol twice. You know, survived Yol twice is probably the better way to put it. You know, it, there's a very strong case that he won both, or he did win both fights. And obviously, a lot of people think Yol won the second, but. I didn't really have any problem with the decision. He's, he's a beast. And um, I just, I think watching what Kelvin was able to do to um, Izzy, I feel like Whitaker's going to be able to find his opening, you know, and Whitaker's got power. How big of a star do you feel that Robert Whitaker is, you know, especially with the, the up and coming fighters, you know, in Australia? It's hard to say, isn't it? Because it's one of those things where it's like, he's the only Australian champion ever. And uh, I guess he gets a bit of, coverage but the media here doesn't really follow MMA that closely you know you see reports about Connor and all that but you never see news stories about Robert and I think it's because he doesn't really he doesn't talk shit you know he's you know just a mild mannered kind of guy but um among the fighters he, he's a fighter's fighter he's fought everyone he fights hard you know he's tough as nails puts on good performances is I've got nothing but respect for the guy and I think pretty much you'd be dumb not to Ooh, man like obviously I'm a big fan of both of them and and, and they both do well to represent uh, you know, New Zealand and um, obviously uh, Rob represents Australia as well but I have to go with my boy Izzy on this one here like he's, he's like a he's lived he's, he's lived the life I've lived you know like in New Zealand you know like he knows what the corner store means you know he knows what you know like he's lived the Kiwi life man so I, I have to back Izzy and he's a good dude as well um, I, I just for me, I, I think the the time off may play a big factor. Like as much as people say, man, like Izzy's been very active. Eh? Like he's been very comfortable in that octagon, and, and uh, I think the ring rust might might be the difference, man. And a lot of people don't. I don't know. They don't think Izzy's as tough as 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 what he put on, man. Like man, their last fight, forms come out in their fifth round that way. It's crazy. It, People should have just respected him on that, man, and, and been like, damn, that's that's a bad man. Uh, mate, got to go to the, the homegrown. Uh, Whitaker, Whitaker wins this. Wins it. Wins it by stopping him. He wins it by stopping him. He finds his chin, mate. He's he's just too athletic. He, and he's got that Aussie grit. Yourself, what's your call, Jake? I don't know, man. It's just uh, too close of a call. I think it's a it's a toss up. It's just two juggernauts, you know, clashing yeah. just at the right moment. Absolutely, dude. Thank you. Absolutely. I don't know. I think it's a it's a good fight. I'm not sure. I think if I don't know if I was to put a bet on it, I'd probably be putting my money on Robert Whitaker. I think. Maybe late, late sort of stoppage if I was to put my money on. But I, I think it will be an awesome fight, honestly. I don't normally pick fights, but I think it will be a great fight. I think it's honestly 100% the two best middleweights at the moment. I don't know. I think the winner of that fight would really uh, – they've got they have some good fights to follow up on as well, but I think definitely that is the the title for the best middleweight at the moment for a while. Anyway, so it's exciting. Who do you think is going to win? I have no idea. This <laughs> fight is going to be yeah insane. I see it yeah. going down kind of similar to uh, the 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 last fight that Stylebender had with Kelvin Gastelum. Yeah. It's going to be yeah. a wild fight. And I think yeah. Stylebender learned from that fight to where yeah. he's actually going to be tougher to finish in this one. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, I'm pretty confident Robert Whittaker is going to knock him out. 
after I watched well, the last few fights, really, of Adesanya, he looks really slick, but Robert Whittick is so good at getting in, and when he does, he hits so hard. I, I'd love to see Izzy win, but I just don't think he will. If you could describe Robert Whittaker's fighting style to somebody, how would you describe it? Like comparing it to like an animal or something. Comparing it to an animal. Okay. Um, I guess a mosquito. You don't hear him coming. He gets in, he stings you, <laughs> and you got a big lump on your face. <laughs> That's perfect, man. That's perfect. Uh, yeah, man. That's a that's a great description. He is a he is a phenomenal athlete, a phenomenal champion, and it's gonna be a great fight, man. But man, I, I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a great fight regardless um, of whatever happens. And they're both great competitors, but uh, I think Israel's a, Israel's a special guy. You know, he's he's on a streak. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I think I think Israel's gonna take it. You know, that's what I believe. But we all know anything could happen in MMA. It's a crazy sport. That's why we watch it. You can never predict these things, but yeah, I'm going. I'm heading towards Israel. That's it's a tight one, eh? Um, it's hard. I've, I'm, I always sit on the fence. Um, you know, my old man always told me, you know, never count your chickens before they hatch. But with this one, because they're they're both kiwis as well, so I, if, I'm not you know, too like too fast. Who who takes it out, man? They're, they're both Kiwis and they're both good fighters. I've followed, um, you know, Whitaker for a while. And I know Adesanya is just coming up in, in the public now, but he's he's been around a long time too, man. And he's he's got six striking. Um, he's he's improving a lot on his ground as well. So um, I don't know, man. Best man win, man. It's it, it, whoever wins. It's good for you know um, New Zealand and Australia MMA. So it propels um, all of us, you know, going onto that big stage. Yeah, no doubt, I've, man. Um, yeah, ho- hopefully it's on the feet more. Um, but I know if it does go to the ground, Adesanya will be, you know, bouncing back up, man. He's he's got the the wild strikes from every every angle, you know, elbows and knees flying, all the stuff us heavyweights don't do, man. So it's always good to watch. Yeah, it's an exciting fight, you know. The both of them bring unique styles to different, the cage different and, styles uh, yeah yeah and yeah. but it's very effective and uh let's like you said let the best man win man anyway hmm. i haven't actually watched a lot of robert whitaker's fights but i've watched a lot of style benders fights um i was lucky enough to meet him a couple of times n- not hang out just shake his hand and say hello but um he's so fucking tall bro he's enormous so i feel style benders reach and his striking will keep him at bay. He's proved himself against good wrestlers like uh, he fought Melvin Gillard and all that kind of thing before he even got to the UFC. So I don't see a lot that Robert Whitaker is going to bring to the table that Stylebender hasn't seen before. So I'm going to pick Stylebender in that. 